Phil and Mama Toys here. So recently, Phil and I got matching Superstar shoes from Adidas, and we're very excited to unbox them today. Um, so some takeaways from these shoes is that you really have to order anywhere from half a size to one size smaller because they do run a little large, especially for kids and for women. So these are size nine for kids, for boys, I guess. Um, these are their, their standard Superstar shoes, the white and the black, um, black stripe, and here you go, there's that pretty gold reflective logo. Um, I really like these shoes, they're, they're just really nice. Addy fit um, with ortho light inserts within. So these shoes do have a flat sole, so it's very important to have you know some sort of orthotics within side because you know it's not very good for developing children to just wear flat shoes without a good insole. So uh, I appreciate that they have these ortho light inserts. I really like this reflective golden superstar logo right here. It's just very pretty. The shoe, the shoe's just very well made. Everything's just nice. Um, it doesn't feel cheap at all. It does have a brand new shoe smell, of course. So those are Phil's, and here are Mama's. So I made a customized pair of women's superstars on adidas.com. Um, I'll let you see them in one second. So I'm taking them out of the box. Here you go. White shoelaces. This come with a second pair of laces. I chose black for these shoes. Um, I think I'm very pleased. So I chose white snake skin with black leather stripes. Um, with a rainbow snakeskin in the back, you'll see the difference there. With a gold back heel logo. Um, and here's the rainbow snakeskin. That's the white snakeskin. Black standard leather stripes. White on white. Here are the laces. Flat laces. Um, golden logo. So it reflects. It's a little hard to see gold on snakeskin. These are tips for the for the shoelaces. They, they look a little cheap. They feel a little cheap to me. Um, they looked better when I was customizing the shoe on the website. So these I'm not too in love with. They're a little tacky to me. But that's okay. I could switch out my shoelaces to the black ones. They have no tips. So the snake skin looks like that with the slightly gray ridges, I guess, the edges. It makes the shoe look a little, I guess, old already or dirty on, on first glance. But overall, when you look at these shoes, you're like, wow, you know, you just really like them. I, I really like them. I still do. I think they're gorgeous. I'm, I'm happy. So just some comparisons. You'll see that the logo is thicker and easier to read when it's gold and black and on standard leather instead of on, you know, snake skin. But they both reflect pretty nicely. And here you have it. Matching mommy and baby Adidas Superstar shoes. It's tennis shoes. So if you want to learn how to customize a pair like mine, you go to adidas.com. Go to the customize area. Choose one for women, which I did. So I chose this. It's called My Superstar Shoes. Am I? My? Or me? I'm not sure. So you start with a shoe that's already been customized and you can just change everything. And I'll just run you through how to do it. You start with the base material. So I chose white snake skins there. So for my stripes, I'm going to choose smooth leather. Scroll down and get the color it's black. And you can rotate the shoe. You'll see that there is an option for stripe color split. So you can have black and green or black and white. Or I just chose black and black. So click on done there. Now on the top of the shoe, that means everything that you see on the top, like the shell toe. You can have it gold, silver, black, metallic, or just rubber. I chose white rubber for standard. You can choose any color you'd like. For the tongue logo, which is that right there, you'll see that it's a little harder to see. If I chose black, maybe it would have been easier to see, but I chose gold. So I'm going to stick with gold. 
My first pair of laces, I do like the cotton and metallic tips, so it looks a little nicer with the golden tips there, but in person it's not as nice, but I'm fine with it. And then, you can see that these are the other type, the tricolor type. Lace tips you could change to silver or you could change to black metallic. And then you choose your color for your extra pair of laces. You can have black laces, pink laces, whatever you'd like. The lining, I chose black for my shoe. The standard would be white, but you could choose whatever color you'd like. You can make it special. Now for the sole. The outsole, I chose white, but you could, once again, you could have any color you'd like. You can make it look black like that, or have, you know, pink, or green. So stick with white. The back of the heel patch here, you could have different types of uh, materials. I chose the rainbow snakeskin. You could choose the black snake skin. You could just choose plain smooth leather with different colors. So that would be the standard. So I'm going to keep the rainbow snake skin. Heel patch logo, I had it in gold. You could have it in black, you could have it in white. Maybe it would have been easier to see if it were in white, but I'll keep it in gold. Here you personalize, you can put wording here. So you're limited to 10 characters. You can't use special characters. So I put in Suteru for my pair of shoe, which means lucky in Japanese. And it's only engraved on the outside of the shoes, on both sides. I tried my name cat, but it didn't work. So I tried lucky, that works. Let's try Superstar. Not allowed to write that on the shoe, I don't know why. I'm gonna try Special Characters, also not allowed. Lucky Love. With a Special Character not allowed, but Lucky Love is allowed. And then you can also have all caps, or you know, a mix of caps and small caps. Love Cat. And then you choose your size. Once again, you want to choose a size that's one smaller, especially for a woman and for children. Um, they run large. I've tried on a, I, I'm size 8, I've tried on a pair of 8, a pair of 7.5s, and even my 7s run a little bit large, but I don't want to go any smaller than that. There you have it, my shoe is done. I save it. Of course, you'd want to make an account in Adidas first before you uh, design a shoe, otherwise you can't save it. Then you would go to pay. It's a standard delivery fee of $12. The shoe itself is 108 So you can pay using PayPal or, you know, um, or, or credit card. My shoe I ordered in on July 15th, and it came yesterday, which was July 29th, so it only took two weeks. So there you go, these are our shoes. I love them, Phil loves them. What do you guys think? Thanks for watching. I uh, hope you subscribe to our channel for more unboxing and toy videos. Thank you so much for your support, for liking and for watching and subscribing and commenting. And, you know, thank you for just being the wonderful you. Have a great day, everyone.